Hey everyone, welcome back, Patrick here. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can really get the most out of our browser and using it to really optimize our 3.js scenes that we create. Um, one of the most common problems people have is not using the deep the debugger uh, correctly and they also have trouble understanding you know looking through the documentation what properties are available to edit and um, how you can go about doing them. Now if we look at the use the console we can actually figure out a lot of this stuff directly out of there. So without further ado I'm going to open up the scene that I've created. Another thing we're also going to do is look at a three point light setup for it. So we'll get we'll get a little artistic on us. Okay so what I've done here is I've created added our hemisphere light I've added a point light to the scene, and I've added a spotlight. Okay, the point light, as you can see, is X, Y, Z, so that would put it um, directly behind. Okay, and then we have our spotlight right here, and that's going to be um, towards us, off to the right, and um, up top. And then we have our hemisphere, which is directly above. This doesn't really matter where we put that fall off is going to ne be negligible. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and come up over here, open this up, refresh. All right, great. So as you can see, our intensity is up pretty high on these things. Um, so we're going to have to need, we're going to need to bring those down. Our intensity is a 10 on here. And we have um, a three uh, intensity on our spotlight right there. We're just kind of washing everything out. Okay, so first thing. First thing we can do is we can type window. Okay, what's window going to do? Window's going to um, basically return everything in the DOM. It's just like an ungodly amount of stuff. Okay, all that really matter, all we care about is just what, what's relevant to the 3.js stuff, this stuff right here. Light 1, 2, and 3, as well as, um, should see a mesh somewhere in here. All right, well, I'm not going to spend all day looking for it. Um, easier way to go about doing this, however, is to return the scene. Okay, so we return the scene. What's the scene that's returning our variable right there? Same thing as if you just had typed console.log and then put scene in there. Okay, so you're getting this information that we can quickly look at. We have our children in our array, hemisphere, point light, spotlight, and mesh. If we go down and look, we can take a look at all of the different... Um, properties for this whole thing. Okay. Type mesh, blah, 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 blah. Now we know our variable names. Okay. We know that it's light one, light two, light three, uh, and so on down to cube because I'm lazy and never fix that. Um, so let's do, the first thing we want to do is start changing some stuff around so that the scene looks better. Okay. So let's take a look at our, um, Let's take a look at light two. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is type light two, and that's gonna return the light two. And now we can expand this and take a look at it. Okay, so light two is positioned directly behind, um, but if we want it to be a key light, uh, we want to have it hint through a little bit um, behind. So we're gonna need to change its position. Okay, so we have position right there. So let's take a look at position. So light two dot position okay otherwise what you can do is just come down here and this is, these are going to be all the functions and properties that we have access to okay so you can take a look at all this stuff position okay so we put that value in and then what else do we have we have all of this stuff that we have access to set and so on down the list but if we just do oops don't do what I just did if we just do light two position it's going to return the coordinates of our light two okay so let's now do light two dot position dot and then what are we going to do we're going to do a set and you can see there's all a whole bunch of other ones you can even go set x y or z specifically but we're just going to give it the regular vector and then we're going to change its position to X, Y, and Z. Let's move it over six, comma, zero, comma, negative 10. Okay. All right, so that's still not far enough over. Let's move it over 10, see what happens. All right, now we're starting to get these highlights on the right side. Um, if we do it on the other side, it might be a little bit easier to see. All right, so let's go the other way. All right, there we go. All right, now let's bring down the intensity.
So we'll do light two dot, and then you can just go through here and look up everything. You have all these different options. Look at that. Options galore. Receive shadow, all sorts of things. Intensity. All right. So light two intensity. What's it at right now? 10. Okay. Let's bring it down. Light two to two intensity equals, we'll do three. Let's see how that looks. Still a little bit too bright. Let's bring it down two. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Now it looks like something nice. Okay. So now let's go to light three. All right, so that brings up light three, and we already know the routine on this one. So light three dot intensity, that's the first thing I think we need to affect, and we'll look at that value, three. Let's bring it down to one, let's see how, ooh, one, that's starting to look nice, okay? Maybe we'll bring it down even slightly more. Let's bring it down to eight, okay? And now let's go to light one. All right, hemisphere light, light, and then dot intensity. Alright, it's up 0.4. Why don't we bring it down a tiny bit more and see how that goes. Okay, so we're going to do equals 0.2. Alright, now it's a little bit washed out. I'm going to bring that back up to 4, and I think I'm going to bring down light intense. So we're going to bring down light 3, e intensity. Okay, it's at 0.8. We're going to set it to 0.6. All right, I like the way that looks, okay? That looks really nice. Um, but other things that we can do is we can affect the mesh as well, okay? So let's take a look at that. Again, we're going to do, we're going to, oh, we know the name of it is cube. So we can do cube and return out all the values for it. Or we can do cube dot, and then we can take a look at all the different options that are here. For example, we could do children. It's going to return an empty array because it has no children. And you geometry. I'm just going to return the geometry. And you can feel free to expand that and take a look at all that information that's in there. All right, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to set the scale on it. Okay, so let's go to scale dot. And then remember, we got to continue down looking for all the other ones. So we have set. And then when you set the scale, the function, so we'll do, that's going to actually take, you'll see how it says X, Y, Z. That means that it takes three components, okay? Um, so what we'll need to do is three. So we will make it X, Y. I like, I like, we'll make the top really tall. So we'll do one comma 1.5 comma one okay set that and then look at that now we have a funky ovally type thing that we have just edited and we did this all within the console okay and you can always go back through your console if you want to copy any of these things <clears throat> for later use um, but this is a great way to kind of debug uh, anything crazy that's going on within your scene. Anyways, thanks again. I hope this really helps you out with debugging and figuring out what the, what problems you're having within your scene. Uh, thanks again for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe.